Right, first of all, today. Today is actually, today is Wednesday at three o'clock. I've got my chemistry exam tomorrow in the morning at 8.50 a.m. And to be honest, my revision and the revision I've done is nowhere near where it needs to be. Like usually, I'll be on top of it, it'll be calm. I had an exam Monday and Tuesday and they kind of took the focus of my revision. So I haven't done much for this exam. Hence, why is that not focused? There we go. Yes, yeah, so today I'm going through this fast stack of all of the topics on this exam. I'm making Anki cue cards and then I'm going through all of those tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'm sorry if this doesn't have the variety that the user vlogs do this is a, an absolute beast of a study day it's cramming in for my exam tomorrow and kind of re reminding me of all of the key concepts for all of the chemistry because I've, I've learned it all i've done all the revision and i'm there but i don't have it all at the front forefront of my mind which is where these two cards come in so i'm going to be running you through exactly what i do the night before an exam usually it's not this cramped and i'm not going through the cue cards and making the anki cue cards but today it's a bit more intense i'm going to update you every hour or so and kind of outline the entire process of what i'm doing but i need to get started so I'm going to be starting right now and going through the first topic of the cue cards. Let's crack on with it. All right, first set is done. I actually went a bit over the 50 minutes because I just wanted to finish that first set of cue cards. To finish that, and I've got eight more to go. This is going to be a long night. So I'm going to have a 10 minute break starting now and then we'll crack on with the rest. Okay, we have three sets down out of the cue cards out of, I believe we said eight, so we should have five more here. Oh, we've got six, six, there are actually nine. So we've got six more to go, about two and a half, three hours in already. So if that's taken three hours, I've probably got another six hours, which means I'll be done at midnight. Not ideal, to be honest, because I still need to actually go through them all on Anki and kind of memorize them all. But I mean, there's not many cue cards for each set that I need to memorize. It's kind of just things like exact equations that we need to know, specific ions, and a few of the concepts that I didn't quite grasp or that I needed that reminder of that I feel like I might forget. Because basically how this process works is I learn everything throughout the year and I make these cue cards and I consolidate all of my information. So I take everything that I understand and put it into a cue card. And if there's something that I don't understand, I learn it, I make sure I do understand it in that moment and then write a cue card based on what led me to that understanding. So that when I'm doing this and trying to recycle through all of the information, anything that I I get first time while looking through those cue cards I know I've learned I know I've absorbed I know I'm ready to hit the exam with that so I don't make an Anki cue card but anything that trips me up or anything that I don't quite know I'll make the Anki cue card on it with the information kind of condensed from the cue card acting as like a trigger to help ingrain that in my memory and then I'll just run through those Anki cue cards to fill in all those gaps and I actually went over my exact method of revision in that video so if you want to watch that that's up there but otherwise yeah two and a half three hours in I'm about to start the third Pomodoro session and we'll crack it out. I'm getting tired now, but I've still got the coffee to keep me going and it should be all good. There you go. Right, well I just had some fun knocking literally everything off my shelf and just fearing for any of it to be actually still alive. I hope it is. But anyway, yeah, now we've just finished the next set of Pomodoro work. So we're about four, four and a half hours in. Yeah, exactly four hours in, in fact. It's 7.04. We've now only got five sets of cue cards left. And these are smaller ones. So I reckon we're about halfway there, which is great. But my AirPods just died, so I can't listen to any music. So I'm gonna charge them up, but it's a perfect opportunity to go have dinner. So I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna have dinner, another tea. I'm not gonna have any more coffee, otherwise I won't sleep for the exam tomorrow and then we'll come back up finish those cue cards and hopefully we'll be finished by about 10 30 and i can go to bed so i can wake up in the morning and just blast through these anki cue cards but yeah it might be a bit bit later hopefully not anyway let's go dinner on it <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so now time is 7.49. I'm absolutely destroyed, I'm not gonna lie. I'm absolutely shattered, but we've still got probably another three, four hours ahead of us. The ideal finish time is 11 o'clock. Uh, that's when I want to have gotten through all the cue cards, and then we'll probably get up at, I want to say, half six to give us kind of like an hour and a half to go through all of the cue cards in the morning before, um, yeah, before we get the exam. But um, I'm dying inside and outside, and I want this to be over. So I'm gonna crack on with it, and when it's gonna be all good. I need to get the blood flowing though to get some more energy in me, so I'm gonna do a few push ups, probably like not like a crazy amount to absolutely knack me, but enough to get the blood flowing, and then we'll hit the work. So yeah, let's just go straight into the work. Okay. Okay, so the time is now 10 o'clock. I'm absolutely knackered, but we got oh, we got through all the cue cards. It was all good. We read through them all. We made all the additional cue cards on Anki. So I'm going to wake up early now and just blast through those. I'm going to wake up at uh, six to give me a solid two hours going through all of those uh, ideally by this point i would have been able to go through more practice questions as well but i've just got to hope that because obviously when i'm making my cue cards i'm making cue cards on the stuff i get wrong in practice questions anyway so hopefully that'll be enough to cover like a large variety of questions but because i haven't done practice questions in like a good for a good while let's just say that i don't know whether my exam practice skills are going to be rusty for the actual exam which hopefully they won't be but um yeah if there's one thing the cramming doesn't let you do it's that exam practice and exam prep because uh that's just something that's quite tedious and you have to just sit down and do loads of questions to be able to identify a few gaps in your knowledge so it's not necessarily the most efficient revision method but it's the thing you need to do to perfect and consolidate all of the knowledge so that you can access like full marks and the highest grades um obviously you do that throughout school and everything that you're doing but if you want to really nail exams that's what you need to be doing after you've done like all of this cramming pretty much that i haven't been able to see that but oh well it is good i'm hoping this will carry me through it yeah see it at six in the morning <laughs> Okay, that was a very, very tight timing. I've got less than half an hour to get to my exam. I need to do my teeth and stuff, grab my coffee and then go. So let's just crack on with it. I'll see you after the exam. Right, the exam has been absolutely obliterated and not gonna lie, it went really well. Uh, yeah, it went brilliantly. There was only one question and it was a one marker on the exam that I didn't know how to answer and all of the other answers that I put for all of the other questions, I was pretty confident on. So to summary, yeah, to summarize that cramming method method was actually really effective. And all of those like concerns that I had about exam practice and stuff, they were kind of addressed because obviously all of the exam practices I'd done, I'd made cue cards on the things I got wrong anyway. So I'd kind of learned all of the answers to the questions questions that could have come up anyway so i blasted through those i actually looked and i went through this morning 384 of those anki cue cards to memorize all those which is just ridiculous but yeah anyway uh i've got another two lessons so i'm gonna drive there now and they'll go home and we'll catch up then so yeah. i'm like oh shit i've been doing this a long time lost in Okay, so it's now two weeks later and I've actually been using that method of cramming to revise for each and every one of my exams. I've had six since then, I believe, and I've got one more on Thursday. And then that's me done for the entirety of my A-levels. And so far, of the ones that I've used that method for and got the results back on, it's been six. So physics currently at 94% and then chemistry 83, but I've still got the second ones of each of those to come back. But um, it's looking promising. This method's looking good. So I just wanted to take a moment just to quickly share with you exactly what I do in that method. Well, how my revision method as a whole works without the cram aspect is I'll make cue cards and things on physical and on Anki that helps to stimulate my understanding of those ideas. So I'll use what I did to learn and get to my understanding of it in like lessons and things, make a cue card on that that acts as a trigger to help remind myself of how I got there in the future. Now I'll actually have an exam. Uh, I'll actually have a video coming on how I make cue cards uh, soon, in fact, in the next three weeks. But that is kind of the main 
way that I used to revise. And that is still how I revise. I use those cue cards and things like that. But for those people and those of you that haven't managed or haven't had the time to make all of those cue cards, you can still have this idea of cramming to stimulate that understanding. When you're doing things in lessons, you're learning it. And as long as you are attentive in those lessons, you're going to have that understanding in the back of your mind. So it's less reteaching yourself everything and more stimulating or re-stimulating that understanding. Now you can do those with YouTube videos, you can do those with some of the courses I recommended before, with cheat sheets and all of that. And basically you're just going to be looking through all of that information and helping to re-stimulate that understanding. And then when you get to a point where you're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. I'll be able to use that in the exam. This is the night before, by the way. Then you make a cue card on Anki, which is those algorithmic cue cards that I recommended in one of my last videos. So that the next morning in kind of like two to three hours before the exam, you can definitively know and consolidate that path to that understanding. So it's less you're having to pack in all of the information into your mind, but you're memorizing those tiny nodes of thought that allow you to get to that understanding. So you can almost picture it like, I want to say compression. When you compress a file, you don't remember the entire file. You remember the, I don't know exactly how it works. So all of you tech guys are going to absolutely sharp me for this, but it's data points that refer to a larger data set so that you don't have to remember as much information. And that is pretty much how this method works. And you're memorizing those data points to be able to connect yourself to the wider understanding and the information as a whole. Hence why it doesn't feel like you're completely filling your brain and having no mental space left. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like you are competent and able to manipulate all of those ideas to suit your understanding and to answer every question to the best of your ability. So I hope that short summary kind of helps you to understand where I'm coming from with this revision method. Now, obviously it's a complex idea, so you might not get it on the first watch of this. So it's definitely worth watching some of my videos on how I revise because they go much more in depth. But also if you want to see more of that, then let me know in the comments and I'll try to make more videos on it. But the best thing to do is just go and watch those first. But yeah, otherwise next week and throughout summer, I've got this massive new series coming. I am so excited to be making one of the videos on it. We're getting loads of travel stuff, COVID compliant, of course, going on loads of night outs, going in hard with a work hard, play hard mentality and kind of getting the same vibe in, as in this video, but on a greater scale with more energy and just more inspiring content. So if you want to watch that, I definitely recommend subscribing. I definitely recommend dropping the like on this video, dropping a comment for the YouTube algorithm and um, yeah, also stay in tune for all of the uni vlogs. There's a lot to come basically, but otherwise that is it for me today and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I live inside my own world of make-believe